For cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to CoinBank UT and make sure to use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off. Hey, what is going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, and today we're going to be doing our daily sniping filters, and I have a pretty good one for today, considering what I believe should be taking effect. And also, this is my third video for the day. I'm trying to grind out these videos right now. With Madden being so slow, I got to keep grinding these out to make sure I get a good amount of content out that you guys enjoy. So I got the Giants team team up today, the creation of it. I got a market crash video based on what I believe you guys should be doing right now. And here's a sniping video for specific filters. Also, if you guys all could, could you go down below and drop the sub? We were at 363, hoping to hit 400 by today or tomorrow. Our subs have slowed down. We were going about 20 a day, and now we're going to, we went to about two or three a day. I don't know how it dies that fast, but I guess it's just the nature of things. So if every single one of you guys could just go down below and drop the sub, it would mean a lot because you guys could you guys could seriously change a lot for me like i always say like i don't think people always understand that concept it's like voting you know you think your one vote doesn't count but if every single one of you went down below and hit the sub button right now i would go from 360 to over 400 to a thousand literally in overnight if you guys really were that determined to do so so if you guys could so kindly go down below and do that our goal is still beginning of may for a thousand subs sorry if i sound repetitive i've said that in all my videos but i know giving you guys a goal will probably help a little bit so anyways, let's get into these filters. So it's going to be revolving around the team builders. And the reason I pick them is because there's new MVPs out today, which means more people are going to want team builders or trying to pull team builders or doing the random set to try to get one of the team builders, which would in turn mean there are more team builders being pulled. Is That's my theory, at least. Could I be wrong? Maybe, but I think I'm right. Now, if you go to these... What I've been doing is looking at the 93s here. So the 93s, let's see if there's a cap value difference so that I could get you guys a better filter. So the 93s start at, they were just 95K. They're going up a little bit, but that's why the sniping for them is good. So 60, 50, 50, 60. Now, so the cap, cap won't work. Now what I could do is, how can we filter this out? So you could, you could also, let's go down the 93s. Let's see if we can do by all offense. Maybe if we do by all offense, we can filter it a tiny bit. Nope, no movement there. All right. If we could find, I mean, if you do by team, which is highly like less effective, but if you see, I'm just gonna show you guys what I mean, so you guys can go through it when you want. So the 93 overalls right here, like Rodney Hudson goes for 110, but the 92s go for 90. But I can see, I keep seeing these 93 overalls get put up for 85 to 90k. So if you could snipe out those for 85 to 90 and then resell for 110, you could make yourself a quick 10 to 15K every single time, which in turn could lead to about 100K per hour if you're determined and you get the right uh, the right stroke of luck on finding these. Now, I'm just going to see if I can keep finding a way to narrow these down a slightly bit better for you guys so that we're not restrained to looking at the Raiders for hours. Maybe we, Let me try cap value. Maybe that's a better way. I was thinking about it, but I wasn't sure. Okay, so maybe, yeah, actually, 61 to... Okay, this is a better one. You get a good amount of 93s. So you get Bruce Irvin, Avery Real, Williamson. You get Von Ball and Andy Janovich, Tony Jefferson, and that's it. So if you do by this one, this one's not bad for the 92. So maybe if we stick to this one for the 92s also. Before I stick to this one, I'm just going to make sure there's nothing better. Nope, that one's that one's destroyed. Okay, so stick to 6170. Now the 92s. Let me see what their exact value is going for so that I can give you guys a fair pricing on that one too. Let's go to buy now. So the 92 is going to want for about 70K. If you can get them for 70K, it's about a 10K profit. So 70, 75K every time. You just buy them, quick quick sell. Not quick sell, like, you know, like sell it quickly and don't actually quick sell. So 61 to 70. So sit here on newest, and the way you're going to want to do this is if you see a 93 for below 90 well, below 90k you buy it right away even if it's 95k i guess you could still buy it but there's a lower chance of you making profit on that so if you see it below 90k you just buy it and if you see a 92 it has to be below 80k or even less so like right now like a 93 133k you don't buy that 92 85k you don't buy that oh i just killed the cap value oh damn my bad back to it all right so you sit on newest and then I know some of you guys wanted me to like show on like on video how I do this. So I'm just going to keep going with this one. So 93, 92s are up there. Obviously, it's going to be harder for me to find one. I'm not going to spend like 30 minutes of this video just sitting here waiting for one. So I'm just giving you guys an idea. If you see a 92 below, uh, below 
below 80k. It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna have to be below 80k. Below 80k, you buy it. And then a 93 below 90k to 85k, you buy it. It's very simple. Like these, obviously, no. These two that just got posted, don't touch. And these might start going up as the day goes up. So quite possibly a 93 for even 95k could be useful. But at the moment, I wouldn't touch those. But you see, it's pretty active. It's moving. Obviously, they're not not everyone put. Most people put up their cards for a regular price, so the snipe's not going to be like a guaranteed. Like every refresh, you're going to get one. But like I said, sniping is um, it's an art. It's not just something that just happens. You have to sit here for an hour or two and slowly grind it out. But it's worth it when you make 100k in two hours rather than sitting here playing games and getting 3k for three games. So sometimes it's more worth it if you have the patience. I do not on video at least to sit here while trying to talk. And trying to entertain you guys and teach you guys rather than sitting here showing you this so that's about it for this filter i'm gonna keep going i'm gonna show you guys maybe a, a bigger one or smaller one depending on how this uh how the filter works for these so these obviously are the these are the 95 so let's get out of the cap value so that we can see it without and okay so 220 nope that's 95s so the 94s are about 160. now how can i filter these out let's see Again, maybe we could filter these by kickers. I hit the wrong one right there. All right, this one's not bad, actually. Are there any 95s in here? Okay, let's see the, the kicker one. Okay, so the kickers aren't bad. And you get the... Okay, so this one's, this one's pretty good, actually. So, as far as the kickers go, let's see how they stack up to everyone else. So, for everyone else, you're going to want a 160. Okay, so I like this filter right here, actually. This one's pretty good. So, 31 to 40 for the kickers. If you find a 94 kicker, hold up. Okay, a 94 kicker, you're gonna want that for, if you can get that for 135 to 140, you could easily sell that. I mean, maybe, no, actually stick to 130, 135, because if it's 140 and you sell it for 160, you're only making 5K. Now again, I always wait to sell things at night. So like these that are more expensive, you might wanna wait till later because of the reduction. So what you could do here is, you could get them for about 130 and then you lose about 15k reduction which is 10k every time now if you happen to see a 95 down there for uh that's the 95s go for over 200k so what you want to do is stick to newest so you can make sure you see everything and then you refresh it and if you see a 95 for anything below 190 you buy it anything below 190 because that that will cancel out the reduction no matter what and if you get even one of the better kickers or punters then you're fine so stick here, look for 190 on the 95s, and that will ensure that you can't really lose money. And again, if you have the money and you have the time, I'd wait till night, overnight, put them up for seven hours, and then put them up for um, a little more than what they're going for, and there's a good chance you wake up and it's sold. Because during the nighttime, people are obviously playing, people with a lot of coins like me sometimes don't even care about saving 15K, so you just, you just buy the more expensive one instead of waiting. All right, that's enough of this one. Now, let me take it down low, like really cheap for the people who don't have as many coins as what I'm showing right now. So let's go to like the 84 to 85s. I think we're going to probably stick even lower, than, I mean higher than that, because these are all kind of really cheap. I got to take the cap value off. It's going gonna, it's gonna to pretty much not show us anything for the lower ones. Okay. So these, these are for the, I guess the really cheap ones, but wait, let me, let me check the 92, uh, not the 92s, the, yeah, the 92s, right? We did those. There's no 971. Okay, so 80 to 88 to 89 is where I want to stick. For 26K. So how these are going to work are, so there's 24K, 25K. So they stick at 24, and then the 89s are going for about 27K. So let's get it. So the basis price here is that the you, for the 88s, you're going to want them for about 18K. If you can get them for 18K, it's a 4K profit every time. And if you can get them for lower than 18K, that's perfect. And now the 89s, you're going to want for about 24K, I believe, depending on what they're going for. Okay, now you're going to want them for about 22K. So anything below 22K, you buy them. You make a quick 3 to 4K every time. Now let's see how I can value these out. So are there any above 50? Let's try 41 to 50. Nope. Let's try 51 to 60. No, that's too much. Uh, yeah. The cap value might not be the move this time. Let's see if I can cap value it. And I can do offense and defense. That should be enough, I think. All right, perfect. So cap value at 41 to 50 and then do all offense. So you're going to see that there's a fair amount of 89s and 88s. So if you look here, you go to newest. Remember the prices. Anything below like 18K, 
for the 88s and anything below 22k for the 89s so you sit here on team 88 to 89 41 to 50 and team builders and you're just going to refresh this one for as long as you're willing to this one's probably the best one out of all three of those just so you don't have to because so, you can do a lot at once you don't have to worry about the reduction you're still making like four to five k but the reduction is not going to kill you on these as it will on the higher ones because the higher ones you make 40k but you lose a reduction of about 20k to 15k so kind of hurts now some of these 89s might actually go for more than others so maybe like you have to also gauge what they're going for like obviously what i'm saying now doesn't always apply when you're doing it so now that i look at it these 89s actually might go for a little bit more than i was just saying let's see 89s did I not just see some for 27k? Hold up. Okay, so I guess they went up. I guess maybe that was a snipe I saw. So they're 32k. So actually, you got to get these for below 26. If you find them for 25, 26, buy them. So that's what we're going to stick to. 25, 26. Instead of 22, because clearly they're higher than I thought. So if you see this for about 25, 26, you buy them. Like this Marquise Vol, this Scantling is something that you probably... No, I mean, with the reduction, it's still going to kind of... You want to below 26 so that if you sell for more, it'll make, you know you can make the money back plus profit. And this one's a good filter because it's not capped out, as you can see with the bar on the side. So you will be getting all the ones that are just posted. You'll get the oldest, the newest, and the, the ones that have been sitting there. So you won't be missing out on anything. Because when, when you're in a filter that has that bar really tiny, you're, just, you're probably missing out on a bunch of snipes because people are filtering them and you're not. So that's kind of the benefit of always filtering your um, snipes and cards that you're looking for. So that's about it for uh, this video. I mean, I think I've covered it enough, and I'm trying to expand these videos and make them a little bit longer for you guys because people have been saying I go too fast. So I think I did a pretty good job of in-depthly showing and going through these. So hopefully these really help you guys. So that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed and you've been enjoying my content, first and foremost, go check out the other videos I posted today. Really good stuff. Constructing the Giants team, like I said, and the, uh, the market crash. Also, if you've been enjoying my content, please drop the sub. Like I said in the beginning, we're, 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 you know, we're grinding. We're trying to make it up there, so drop the sub. Make sure to comment and like. The user interaction is huge when you guys interact. It helps my videos grow because the more you guys interact, the more my videos are recommended. So if you guys are so you guys are already subbed and you're already watching the video, just go drop. You know, it won't hurt. Just go drop a like and just go, go, go talk to me. Comment down below what snipes you get. Comment down below what... Actually, comment down below what your favorite team MVP is. Just do that. It helps me out a lot. Just comment something, interact, like the video, and talk to me. And if you guys need any direct uh, help or any any information on Madden or anything you guys need to talk about, hit me up on Twitter, poodle underscore gaming underscore, and um, my DMs are open. I'll answer anything. So I'm out. See you guys later.